Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Roberto George and today I have a question which is can the MacBook Pro late 2013 uh, 15 inch, I'll put the specs on screen so I don't forget, this is a <laughs> not to, to myself, uh, can this guy over here connect to three uh, external monitors? And the answer to that question is simple and it's yes. Uh, so what am I going to do to connect uh, these three monitors over here? Uh, I'm going to use two connectors. Uh, one of them is um, Mini Display Port 2 uh, VGA, and the other one is Mini Display Port 2 DVI. And I will also use the HDMI uh, connection of the MacBook to use the three external monitors. Uh, so these I bought at um, Amazon, 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 sorry about that. I'll put the links below. Uh, these was, was, were quite cheap, um, four or five euros uh, each, something around that. Uh, I bought three, two DVI and one uh, VGA. I still have one unboxed here on my draw. Um, and just because I could buy uh, three of these for half the price, so 15 euros, half the price that one would cost or uh, at Apple or at the local stores here where I live. So for 15 euros <laughs> I've got three, uh, three connectors. To be honest, don't use all of them, but um, uh, we never know. So um, I'm a cable <laughs> maniac and I've got lots of, of cables. Uh, so these are the ones that I'm going to use. And let's move on. I also will be connecting this USB cable here, which is connected to my KVM uh, switch, which controls my keyboard, mouse, um, and I can select which computer I'm working with, whether it's on a Mac Mini, in my case, uh, or on my PC. Uh, this MacBook Pro that I have here, uh, by the way, <laughs> it's not mine, it's my brother's as you have watched in previous, uh, previous videos uh, where I compared with the Mac Mini regarding video editing, uh, Final Cut Pro, etc, etc. If you haven't watched those uh, and you are interested in, just go back, browse the channel and you will find it easily. So let's move on. Let's connect our HDMI on this side over here and we will the screen will flicker and we have one screen on at the moment let's now this will be the VGA there's no order uh, in particular to connect these you can connect uh, by any order doesn't matter so this is the VGA and we'll turn that screen over there okay so now we have two external screens working Lastly, let's select the DVI and my DVI monitor cable. It's right over here, which usually is connected to my PC, my video editing PC that's also available on the channel if you want to check it what it is. And let's connect that as well. Okay, so probably this one is not with the DVI input. And now it is. Okay, so successfully we have three screens working. Um, at the moment they are all um, identical, which is they are all sh showing the same, the same screen. So at the moment we have four screens, one integrated, three external, but uh, they are all identical. So let's change the settings. And what we have now is uh, four monitors with different images on it. Let's see how they are arranged. Okay, so this is my first one. My second one is on the middle. Let's change this to... So you will have to, <laughs> to put the settings as... 
let's move this one here this is the middle one let's put it here so every time you make a switch there will be this flickering but it's okay once you have all set up uh, you will be able to uh, to work with uh, well all the applications that you want so let's say for example that you want Photoshop in one screen so let's put Photoshop here and let's say that we want After Effects in another screen so let's put After Effects here this is a project where my brother is working um, not where my brother is working, it's a project that my brother is working on so let's not mess around with it because it's not my project and let's say that you want to put a Google oh, in this case Chrome, I don't usually use Chrome, I use Firefox uh, it's the one that I prefer but so now we have three different uh, applications on uh, on screens and we still have um, the Retina <laughs> MacBook Pro screen available to, to use. Uh, so regarding workflow, this is this is really nice. Um, one more thing that I would like to mention is if you want to close up the screen, I don't know, I haven't tested, I don't know how the cooling will work, um, but if you want to close it, you will have to um, connect the Mac Safe to to your Mac, and once it's connected you can close the Mac and okay so now we have our settings all <laughs> set back let's change them and yeah they're all correct let's bring Photoshop to this screen we have After Effects here and we have our browser which we can put in full screen over here okay so my suggestion would be this is a, a great um, a great laptop to be as a secondary or whatever monitor uh, computer on your office my suggestion would be this is a lot of mess of cables uh, first I would put it on a corner uh, and I would probably go with a docking station like the Belkin one I'll try to put the screen uh, screenshot on um, on the movie right now um, to avoid all this mess with uh, with cables and probably I would put it on the MacBook on a stand so it would look uh, more um, nicely fit to, to the office but one thing is for sure um, this guy here is capable of running this three uh, external monitors and um, at least for me I'm used to, to work in this workflow so if this machine was mine I would have to find a way to integrate it here um, and easily disconnect it take it with me and when I come back just plug it in to that docking station that we're referring or to other similar docking station um, to have this this workflow here so great news uh, from this one more advantage <laughs> to get a machine like this and um, this is it guys so I hope this helps any of you with this with this question at least I had this question um, and if you have a friend or something like that or relative with uh, a laptop a MacBook Pro 15 inch um, the 13 inch I think it can uh, can do the same it has the same connection so um, it's fun to test it out and see how it works uh, try it on your applications at least these are the ones that um, suit for me uh, and you will have a nice time uh, with this laptop so hope you enjoy it if uh, you like the video thumbs up if not you know what to do <laughs> just right next to it uh, so bye bye my name is Roberto George and thanks for watching